What's up guys, Shack Hats Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. This is gonna be the last trip of my visit to North Carolina, Virginia. We are kayak fishing today on Heiko Lake in North Carolina. As you can see, we are at the boat ramp right now. Uh, I have my brother-in-laws here and we have Dylan. We're gonna go ahead and paddle to the dam and try to go for the, let's get it fellas. Mystery tackle box slam. We're gonna try to use every single bait in here and tackle and get a catfish. So let's get rolling. The first thing we had to do was paddle our way to the dam or the spillway, which was quite a ways, but ended up paying off in the long run as we completed most of the items in the mystery tackle box. Uh, this was our last opportunity to uh, complete the slam as a few days before I had tried to complete it in a creek with no success whatsoever so this was like my last opportunity to get this mystery tackle box slam uh, completed and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the unboxing video though right now so you can kinda see the products that are in the video and then we'll go ahead and get straight to the slam the first product they had in the mystery tackle box was the scent bait eggs by magic products which is very similar to a salmon egg they also had in there some circle hooks with a red glittery flash by brush lunker they put in there some team catfish super j hooks six hot with some component beads and also some bank sinkers for us to keep the bait on the bottom now what made this kind of interesting is that they had a plastic worm which is primarily used for a dip bait and they did not have a dip bait provided in this box so we actually had to use our own dip bait to complete that product they also had a catfish rig which was kind of like a wire leader rig which we ended up using and had pretty good success catching fish with so all in all we had six products in the box and as you'll see in the video we only used 90 percent of the products uh, we actually had a hard time with the hooks that were provided because they were just simply too big for the products we were using i'm sure if we had more time we could have used cup bait and used the cup bait on the super j hooks but just because we were limited with time uh, we weren't able to do that so I would say this slam was probably more like 85 90 percent completed but as you guys watch the video I'll have you decide what you think if this was a true slam or not hope you guys enjoy it and now we are headed to the spillway this definitely shouldn't make it interesting We'll just kind of have to see how we do. This is actually something else. Oh, okay. Looks like you got a bass. All right, so they're definitely in here, There's huh? two of them. Dude, I'm telling you, they're starving. This is, I've never caught something this small. I've never caught a bass in here, actually. Really? The bass are usually out there. All righty. Well, let's get rigged up and get, get going. I started out using the wire rig leader. I did not use the hooks provided in the box right away, but started out using a small jig head hook to get more action. I did use the one ounce bank sinker, and we started out using the scent bait eggs, but that quickly went downhill as it was coming off the hook, so we ended up switching to night crawlers to get more action. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. All right, guys, we got a pretty decent one on. Pretty sure it's a channel catfish. Woo! Fish on, guys. First fish on the catfish rig. Here he comes. Oh! Oh, man. He, oh! a good one guys all right fellas there's our first fish yeah that's a nice one fellas all right guys first fish with the weighted sinker 
from the mystery tackle box and then also with the rig with the mystery tackle box but instead of using the sensor bait i was using night crawlers all right guys first fish let's go ahead and release them let's go ahead and release this fish fellas all right guys the next thing we're going to try is this uh dip worm I'm going to use the Secret 7. Now, this was not part of the mystery tackle box, but they didn't provide a bait for this, so I'm just having to use what I think will catch fish. So we're going to use the Secret 7 Team Catfish dip bait and see what we can get. So the next thing that we tried was the dip plastic worm. We ended up using the Secret 7, as I thought that would probably be the best thing to use in this particular setting. It was very hot, and the Secret 7 is a very good bait to use when it's a very hot, sunny day. So we covered that plastic worm from top to bottom with that bait, and it has little holes in there for the bait to stay compact and for the scent to really get out there. So we ended up casting it out and uh, ended up getting a fish, as you're about to see. Nice on the dip tube. Yes, baby. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Yep. Nice. nice. Okay. There you go. Good. Good. Here. Oh, gosh. We got him. Got him. All right, guys. I don't know if that matters. We got him on the Secret 7 right there with the dip tube, fellas. Good job, Noah. Yeah. yeah. You want to tell him that I caught him with this right here? And Fred caught one with the component bead right there. Nice job. High five. High five. There he goes. All right, guys. Is that with the salmon egg? Yeah. Seth had used this uh, scent bait here and put some night crawlers, and we ended up getting a fish. Guys, I think that completes the mystery tackle box uh, slam. So what Seth had done is that he used two scent bait eggs and a night crawler combined kind of like a hodgepodge really to get a catfish which ended up working out for him uh, but we ended up calling a quits after that we didn't use the circle hook or the super j hook to uh, fully 100 percent complete the slam however i will say that this was a great challenge for all of us and i'm sure if we would have stayed around a little bit longer we probably could have 100 percent completed it but like I said, it was fun, great experience. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop a comment below, give a like to this video. Uh, I would definitely like to do another slam in the near future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. If you guys like that video, please be sure to check out some of our other catfish product related videos here on the Chat Cats Fishing Channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.